Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at the Team Race monster. Super excited for this monster, Volkinex. It is a Magic Blossom Mythic monster. This is probably the best of the monsters that I've seen so far. And we're going to use them with Epigersis. So that's going to be an awesome combination. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provide the monster. All the stuff I need to take was rank 5. Any gems I use will be reimbursed. And they provided the food to feed this monster all the way to 150. Look at that design. It is quite unique. That is a great ultimate as well. There was a magic phoenix who came to die inside a Gersus when he knew his time had come centuries ago. Its ashes remained inside a Gersus until he transformed into Epigersus. In the very moment of his transformation, he spit out a flare of pink fire and Volcanix was born from it. Even the lore has something to do with both of the monsters. I love it. So the reason I'm most excited about this monster is because, as you can see right now, the trait, Dodge Area. That's right, at unranked, at rank 0, this monster starts off with Dodge Area, making him highly, highly usable in the meta. You're also immune to burning, eh, it's whatever. Umbrella Hardening trait, eh, it's whatever to me. Self Evasion, pretty nice, right? You don't have to worry about those situations where a monster removes positive effects and then removes positive effects from the whole team. Because you have Dodge Area, even if a monster has that, you know, like Slumster's very well known for it, it's not going to affect you. So if you have Epigurses and this monster, Epigurses will lose his Megaton status caster, but you will keep your evasion. If the enemy wants to take down the evasion, they're going to have to single target you. Now, of course, if there's a Pierce monster, well, can't do anything about that. And then you do a random torture at the start of the battle against the opponents. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So random dots against the enemy, you have that evasion, umbrella hardened traits always gets out, but that dodge area is really what it comes down to. So yeah, um, amazing. Look at his ultimate. Heat Cyclone deals heavy magic damage to enemies, applies Ignite, Bane, and Curse. Wow, Bane is the one that randomly deals 15, 20, or 25% every single turn. Ignition is what? It's just low fire damage. Curse is the one that's 10, 20, then 40% of life and stamina. All right, let's see how his stats compared to the other monsters in the game. All right, currently categorized by the life stat, it looks like we are at 132,100. All right, that is slightly below the average life stat. I haven't taken a look at what this monster can hold in terms of relics. I am really hoping, considering it is a phoenix, that it can hold the revival lessons, but I guess we will see. The power stat is quite high. 10,912, it is tied with that of quite a few other attackers. Let's see, right here. Flash area, Nishin the Great, and Balderar. So really good power stat. In terms of stats, one, two, three, fourth highest in the game. And in terms of speed, speed stat, we're also looking at a pretty fast monster, 8162. Nice, it's a unique speed stat, but as you can see, it is currently the ninth fastest monster overall in the game with a pretty good power stat, and then that life stat is squishy, but of course that makes sense, it is an attacker-based monster. Volcano Bird deals moderate magic damage to an enemy, applies a random elemental weakness to one enemy. Prehistoric Reborn deals low magic damage to all enemies. Wing Strike deals moderate magic damage to an enemy and applies evasion to itself, so you get to damage the enemy and protect yourself from the oncoming attack on a one-turn cooldown. Very nice. Illusory Peak deals moderate magic damage to an enemy and applies Bane to an enemy. This will randomly deal 15, 20, or 25% magic damage on each turn. This also has a one turn cooldown. We haven't seen Bane since the magic exclusive bounty up monster from like six months ago, even longer. Um, Jaeger year end. Oh, New Year's, right? All right, we have Mystic Eruption deals heavy, very heavy magic damage to an enemy, applies two random tortures to an enemy. We have Bird Illusion deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, applies Bane and magic weakness, so this sets up for another attack. Awesome. Also, the Bane will benefit from the magic weakness, so very powerful attack right here. We have Mystic Breeze, which deals low magic damage to an enemy, applies a random dot, and you give yourself an extra turn on a one turn cooldown. Keep in mind, if you have Sigil on this monster or another monster, you can use Mystic Breeze as a way to kill someone, immediately use it again, immediately use it again. Um, so there's lots of benefits to this. But I mean, having a one turn cooldown is nice. You can also give yourself Evasion and Anticipation. This might be a good skill to throw in there for those situations where you run into a Dark Bolt or something. Hey, maybe you turn time into this monster, you set up that anticipation and you're good to go. Uh, Mystic Wing deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, applies random torture to all enemies. Weakening Breeze deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, applies a random elemental weakness to all enemies. Maybe this is even going to be a good monster for the Fugitive um, to take on the Fugitive. Deals very heavy magic damage to an enemy, applies random torture to one enemy, requires cooldown on a one turn cooldown. 
Um, fiery Flight, Evasion, and Damage Boost. So much skills this monster has. All right. Let's start by showcasing the strongest skills he has. So this is one of them. And the other one is this one right here. So Eruption and Tail. Very heavy magic. Very heavy magic. They both see very, they both see very heavy. One does a random dot. The other one does two random dots. Three turn, one turn cooldown. That's the difference. Again, with Sigil, those cooldowns almost become obsolete. I would say the, the must-have skill. I would give the ET skill. I'd probably, honestly, depending on the meta, I'm tempted to just go double singles. That's kind of what I'm, I'm more inclined to do. Um, we won't do the two random dots. I think we'll keep Mystic Tail since it's slightly stronger. Um, I do want to keep, what did I say, that anticipation for those interesting situations where I need it. And for PvP, I am going to do Bird Illusion. Man, there's so many things I want to do with this monster. I want to run two Magic AoEs. Um, but just because I know the PvP meta, I'm going to switch it. But this is one of those situations where if it's a war, maybe you do give the monster two AoE, metal, um, two AoE magic attacks, and then you just let him go. A set of magic weakness, follow up with another one. Maybe you, you use a single Bane skill. There's so many different things you can do with this monster, but I'm going to run this setup. If you disagree, that's fine. Let me know in the comments below what skill set would you run on your monster. By the way, he does have revival. Thank you, SP, for giving the Phoenix a revival essence. Uh, we're going to recover our stamina with Slumster's Trap. And that way you can mess around with the talents right here. So if a teammate has Sigil, do not give this monster Sigil. Please do not. Uh, this might be a good monster to maybe give... Where is it? This might be a good monster to maybe give the Bull to remove Taunt and Megaton from the enemies, right? Especially if there's a status cast for Megaton. Hey, you use your extra turn to get rid of it. And then maybe you hopefully kill someone with one of your other attacks. Um, so that could be a good one for him. Uh, maybe you... You do torture meaning to get rid of your tortures. There's so many different ways you can go with this monster. Um, I'm personally going to give him... Gosh, I don't even know what I want to give him. Omniscient um, Spiral, no. Griffin, when the turn starts, gives armor. Oh my gosh, do I do this one? Give Ignite plus the other dots. That might be good for Volcanex. And in terms of a rune setup, uh, this is an attacker through and through. So two strength and a single speed rune is the typical attacker setup so let's do that and i am super excited uh for this so let's take this monster out into pvp and what better teammate than Amonia that could also give a damage boost a double damage and benefit from the damage weakness as well from the magic weakness all right let's get into this two dodge area monsters and a taunt monster i don't care if i lose my status caster megaton look we ran into a dark voltic which is why i said it might be a good idea to give yourself that anticipation skill you might need it it will come um, to your advantage so this is going to be good um i think we'll do emotional first to get rid of that let's cleanse away your positive effects we will do a damage boost we will attack you yet again and then we will turn transfer into my monster just so I can do fly high. If I want to get an attack in, I could do Mystic Breeze. You know, do a little little tap. Give a dot, random dot to the enemy, give ignite, and then fly high. So now I'm ready for Dark Volt. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Do an ET skill. I dare you. Dark Shocks. And he does. All right. So I get to go. Um, look at my AoE. If only his... Oh my gosh, I took way too much damage from Elvira, unfortunately. If not, look, this could OTK. Ooh, I'll do Mystic Breeze. And then I will do... Well, this is Evasion, so I could always protect myself. One turn cooldown, that's nice. So I could always keep damaging with Mystic Breeze. And, oh, never mind. <laughs> and then we'll go Mystic Tail. Yeah, Um. again, it's a good showcase of what I could potentially do. Mystic Breeze again. Fly high, protect myself. So I love that mechanic. I love that setup right there. That was awesome. Look, fly high. And then Mystic Breeze could have gotten rid of it. I'm not going to win this one. But that's why I like what this monster can do. Um, For sure. I think you, sir, need more. More tankiness to you. All right, I think you'll be good now. All right, let's try again. Let's click fight. I took way too much damage. Way, way too much damage from Elvira. All right, Demonic Pack. Ugh. Okay, let's go Emotional. Let's remove Immune to Dots. Considering Zul's going next in the turn order, I imagine you're going to do Evasion to your whole team. 
Uh, maybe I'm wrong though. Let's see. Um, what do you still have? Immune to torture. Capricorn. All right. Finally, dot immune to to torture is gone. Turn transfer. All right. So I have. Look at this. It is powerful. My goodness. OTK. And again, this this little extra tap. I just I love it. I love it. Um, let's kill you. All right. Let's do Mystic Breeze. And then Bird Illusion or you set up Evasion as a patient. I mean, the monster's good. Like, no ands or buts. This is undeniably the best monster of the new season. It's The skill set is good. The fact that it has dodge area is good. Oh my gosh. This is a fun monster. Great design. Look at it. Stunning to look at. Yeah. Great monster. I can see this monster being in the top 100. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have Pierce, like Cherry Cupid or... Um, or... A Serpent Tux, but still... It's a good monster. Let's do that. Let me see, if you have Face Shield, what do you have? Yeah, you do. Okay. Capricorn. Do that again. I might just... I might just buff. I think I'm just going to buff. Yeah, see, Nimbus, who cares? Because I'm protected thanks to my dodge area. All enemies. Oh, man. We came good. I should have I should have damaged him a little bit more. But nonetheless, let's go Mystic Tail. Nightmares got blocked. That's fine. All right. I'm going to do Blessing. Actually, I don't need to do Blessing. I will just do a regular shield. All right. Let's do this. All right, face shield has been exhausted, so now we can work on getting rid of it. All right, here's one. Pisces. Sagittarius, that's two. And then I will churn transfer. Let's see if I'm strong enough. 215, we'll go Mystic Breeze, Poison. And then, boom, and you go down. See if he reses. If I would have set up anticipation, I wouldn't have to worry about him doing the re the res extra turn scale. So that's another benefit. Yeah, calamitous. All right, let's do that. Let's go, Mystic Breeze. Oh, here's what I meant. Like Mystic Breeze, when when you're at the point where you can kill someone, use it. Sigil kicks in. You get to reuse your Mystic Breeze or some of your other attacks that maybe had a higher cooldown. Which is why that other skill that does two dots that has a three turn cooldown or whatever it doesn't even really matter. Um, revival here. Let's do fly high just to prevent him. Maybe he'll do the team res. Oh, look, he just recharged. That tells me he probably only has that other res skill. Let's recharge. Let's recharge again. Yeah, look at him not revive. Recharge. Thanks for my anticipation. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Recharge. Lost my monster. No, don't kill him. All right, I was able to exit out just in time. You can see my attack log. It is attack lost. Awesome. With that being said, I am now 150. Let's continue this. I mean, the monster is straightforward. You put him with a top monster, and he is an absolute killer. Uh, I don't want to kill those common poor monsters, though. But yes, this is the best monster of Season 4 of the Blossom Mythic Era, bar none. He's fantastic. Let's click Fight. Let's see what we're going up against here. I am just going to boost, and honestly, AoE kills everyone. Um, yeah, uh, this one's pretty straightforward. Fly high. Now we're just going to here. Let's kill you. Nightmares. Why do you keep applying Nightmares? Can you not apply anything else? What are you, a master pet? <laughs> apply different dots. All right, let's click fight. Let's try again. I don't know if I want to do the double AoEs. I mean, the double AoEs, you know, you would just do the magic base and then do the other one, and that's essentially it. So, I, yeah, and it's hard to pull off in some situations. Like, here I'd have to trade disable here. I hope they don't cleanse. They're obviously going to cleanse. Uh, so, can't really do anything there. Um, looks like Elvira is not maxed out because I can still attack everyone. So, kill. Kill. Breeze. I think we'll kill Elvira. 756. I didn't see what dot tried to land. Trick of Light. Um, I will just put a shield up. Shield was blocked. All right. I think I'm just going to turn time for cleanse. Too much on Epigarsis. 
Uh, let's hit you. I can't hit you with dots. So I'll put the 40% shield up. Um, Mystic Tail, Mystic Breeze, Fly High. So this is a Mystic Breeze followed by my single. Photo, that's fine. Mystic Tail, you dead. All right, and then Galvanus, you have Revival? No Revival on Galvanus either. All right, well then, just for fun, we'll do a double damage boost. We'll recharge. We'll do a damage boost. Trick of Light. Recharge. And 605, kill, and for fun, 302, quicksand. Oh my gosh, again! Okay, let's just do like two more battles and hopefully stop killing the opponents. Okay, let's see. Um, 130's out. I think I need a trophy climb. Uh, because they're getting the enemies are getting weaker and weaker um so we'll cleanse for myself first we will get rid of that damage mirror kevlar vest we'll do that we'll get rid of that shield kevlar vest again we'll churn transfer um which is mystic breeze mystic tail let's see what it is mystic tail to poison yeah again the reason i like that one is just because it deals more initial damage um what to do? Let's just do tail again. Boom. Yeah, straightforward. Holy Resurrection. Ah, so that's the one, once again, that I can stop thanks to my anticipation. So let's hit you with a bunch of dots. Sandstorm. Yes. Let's damage boost. Let's Mystic Breeze. Sigil kicks in. or Probably already kicked in too much. Let's just go fly high and let's see if the enemy has the other revival skill or if he'll never revive it anymore. So I triggered my anticipation. Which is recharge with my monsters. Calamitous. Death comes back. Um, but I think if my Gersus dies, it'll deal residual damage and then he'll die. So, we'll end there. But yeah, the whole point is you set up anticipation. Enemy Orels are not doing the Holy Rest kill. They are not going to revive extra churn because they're afraid of anticipation. Alright. Pangolith, Teddy Bomb. Ooh, I'm going to destroy him with the AoE, that's for sure. So, damage boost. Damage boost again. I don't even need to... I can do the ET skill. Boom! Alright, you know what? We're just going to fly high now. Anticipation. Supreme fun again. Thanks to Dodge Area, I don't get hit with any of the residual negative effects. Uh, negative effect cleansing. Um, we'll just turn transfer. Mystic Breeze. Um, Mystic Tail. Get rid of Teddy Bomb. And we are solid. Calamitous. Fly high, recharge, recharge. It's fun to see an Uriel just recharge. Nimbus. Oh, and I don't want to risk that. All right, guys. So, bar none, this is my favorite monster of the season. So fun to use this monster. I was getting really bored doing the other monster reviews because they were really lackluster. Really, Epigersis is great. He's a Megaton monster. He's easy to use. You plop him in, you use another monster to attack. But this monster, I guess because he's actually an attacker, right? Um, well, Mermaid Spearband is an attacker, but a nonsensical attacker. And then Master Pet, so far I've recorded, not a fan. Um, maybe I'll really enjoy using Nyla and be strategic with her. So I'm recording her next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this monster. How many laps are you going for on your team? Any not thoughts in the comments below? Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.